Welcome back to Cause What Are You Guys? Yeah, this might be the finale helicopter. Might be the finale of the venture build, you guys. Might be just some minor stuff that need to be clarified and rectified and fitted. So let me show you what's left on the car or what's left to do on the car. Headlight. We have the headlight, we don't have a bracket to hold the headlight. The beading or trim in other countries. The side mirror. Front plate. Rear plate because apparently the cops don't like this. It's too old. Replace the old cracked tires. Wash the ceiling because they're very moldy and a health hazard. Change the carpet. For the people that actually know what a venture looks like, surely you might be asking yourself, but Ntutugo, where's the center seat? The seat is over here and it needs to get covered. The carburetor needs to get redone because at first start up in the morning, it sounds like this. And then once it's finally warmed up, it sounds like this. Regardless of all those problems, the car still drives just fine. So as you guys can hear, we have a minor exhaust leak coming from the flange gasket. But it's not much to worry about. Cable, I don't know what's happening about that either, but the car works without all the instruments. The one thing that is working is telling us that we have bad, uh, we have a bad brake, so bad handbrake, in which I know about that because the handbrake is non existent. Uh, but just fitted a hooter, so that's good. It drives well, but at fourth or fifth gear, some kind of sometimes it jerks and stuff. So I don't know what, what's up with that. But yeah, third gear pull right now. And people in the street don't know why. Needs an alignment, you guys, as you can see from the steering wheel. Brakes, brakes are okay, but it can be better. It's an auto heater. Mm, yeah. I can smell the, the, the old fuel just burning right now. So, uh, this section I have to focus, you guys, so camera's going off. Gears feel just as they felt 10 years ago, which is kind of off. I think they need some greasing or oil or something. The linkage, because we've sh you changed the shifter. I remember my dad changing the shifter some years back. So, yeah, probably that needs work a bit, but. 
hard drive so as you can see we all have been asking about this so So last time you remember us making a video that car didn't want to start or run or do anything so only turns out that it was a seized up valve a valve was rusted and i called it i knew that okay if i did this and this and this and the car didn't still didn't want to run it would be something within the, the the cylinder head or top as we call it so yeah <laughs> A friend of mine has started on another project. So yeah, you guys changing out the bottle here. We got from your scene. Didn't want us to go to waste our precious antifreeze, even though we don't know what make is it. Here's this previous bottle here. Change the passage. Hey, I'm following. Let me see. So just change this. That horrible sounds are the camp followers, or lift the tick, as we all in other countries call it. It's caused by lack of oil within the engine or bad lifters. So yeah. So you guys right now I just changed the bottle and the fan switch uh, gonna let it run usually you have to bleed the system but then we just replace things so we're just gonna open up the bottle and then let the air go out from the bottle leave the car running like that so after that you're gonna head off to Shawela make sure that the fan hits on its own stuff like that because the fan did never hit on its own so came on on its own sorry so we're gonna head off to shawela and get the engine washed so that we can see where the oil leaks are coming from you don't want to put new oil in only to drain the oil whole oil out tomorrow so yeah gonna have to go to shawela get an engine washed and then get the whole car washed and then the mechanic will come tomorrow and replace the gearbox. We can't do it ourselves, but it's quicker when he does it because he does it within 45 minutes. So the rear main seal needs to be changed, some gasket. We bought some of the parts already here. Like we think there are usual uh, 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 things to go wrong. So we have oil here. This is our box for the thing, the bottle. Five new plugs, oil filter. Uh, some gasket they didn't have a what's this type of cover gasket those usually go wrong as well have a rear main seal but without the housing hopefully maybe you can get it on without the housing with the original housing that's already in the car because all of the housings that come from the terrain uh, they're smaller on the thing they fit smaller but so they fit snugly and sometimes it's easy to get it wrong so yeah, just gonna let the professional do it, and yeah. So currently we're waiting for the temperature to go up, and then yeah, I don't like the cam fuller noise, guys. But hopefully it was something that will be done in the next video, or maybe this one video, or for you guys in this video for us tomorrow. Uh, yeah.
which is a Monday. Let's see. So currently, it's this focus. Temperatures all the way down though. At the same time, I'm, I don't trust this car because yesterday it was bubbling the water. It's just out after the box, just right after the box, just right after the box, just uh, just right here. The the water is bubbling, so we thought maybe it's the bottle because the bottle is horrible. And then um, yeah, and I know still have the original head unit, but we didn't get the face for it. The, the face that goes here. And then yeah, this car, the interior looks really good. That's what. That was the selling point for this car, the interior. Interior is, is really hard to get, you guys. Full original interior is really hard to get, so this was the major selling point for this car. So here, yeah, you guys, that means the switch, we have a 40, the temperature switch. The fan came on on its own. Here, yeah, when the rust oh. The fan came on on its own. Came on our phone and went off on its own. That means we have a faulty temperature switch, which is gauging us, uh, is giving us a false reading. So then, yeah, you guys, right now we're heading over to Shawela to get the engine cleaned. We can wash it ourselves, but <laughs> you know the professionals do it better, you guys, and for a low price, of course, a reasonable price, but a low price, yeah. because for us to get it the way we want, they get it to be. We'd have to buy a lot of chemicals and a lot of time. They do it in a less amount of time with one chemical. That's why we call them professionals. That's what distinguishes you to a professional. So yeah, we're heading over there. The car's driving so driving okay right now, except for the gears. The lower gears just like kick out. It's hard for him to grasp how so they have to uh, do the gear links also and then yeah basically it's them buttoning up basically with this car this car doesn't have that much need that much work but yeah i'll show you when we get there you guys yasin came to soweto to visit with his famous bus This car is head out. My height difference. Né? My height difference. Don't think that I, 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 I'm a short guy. My height difference compared to this car. I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, I At the place where they wash the engines, they remove the coil and the map sensor to avoid drama. Okay, you guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, click the bell icon so that you don't miss an upload. And we're also hosting an event, a dance meet and greet. On the 2nd of March, just here in near Western area, it's in Zerubakom. Here's the poster right here, and then see you guys later. Um, next vlog will be. Let me just leave it there. It's a surprise.